Hello and welcome to the greatest Skellige deck of all time. This one was created by Imagawa, who has their own YouTube channel. Go check them out. Just just search for T underscore Imagawa. They're a Japanese fun player that uh, you can see Miyamon bouncing ideas off of. So that should give you uh, an idea of how much uh, how influential they are, even though you probably haven't heard of them. Uh, a lot of times I, I find that Imagawa is ahead of the meta. And they've come up with decks before, like, or they, they've recognized the power of certain decks before other people have. Um, so this deck is all about crows, but you don't want to play crows round one. Um, you do want to have some rain to, to thin out your Okay, opponent just realized that they are no match for us and they already left. Not realizing that we're not actually... They saw the Blaze of Glory and thought we were control warriors, but we're actually crows. Alright. So that's how you win games, but uh, for those of you that missed it, let's play another one. Full House says, hi, YouTube. Sam says, don't know well. That was the guy that spams NR, right? Now, Onyx? Yeah. Ooh, Ugadai KTL. Okay. One, this is another uh, one of my like favorite people to to steal ideas from that you might not have heard of. Ugudai KTO. Uh, they're very creative and they always kind of make their own weird decks. How is that a full house? I don't get it. Is it because German Audubon? Uh, no, me, 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 what does it mean? Somebody told me once, but I forgot it. I, I found, uh, I found a good emote for Full House, actually. Hold on. And uh, YouTube, if you're wondering what the hell we're talking about, some of my, uh, most frequent Twitch, uh, chat participants have their own emotes. Uh, actually. It's like a puppy nergy. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was full house. I'll have to find it. Like, it wasn't this, but it was something like this. But his name is Guess Who? Gotcha. Okay, so we have Crow Mother. We're going to play it in round one. Uh, and we have Horn. These are very important cards in this deck. So, Crow Mother, um, it's because it gives us baby crows. And baby crows are important because Axel helps them grow and become adult crows. See? He, like, waters them and feeds them drugs. And then they, like, injects them with hormones. And they turn into murderous fucking crow messengers with glowy laser eyes. Watch out. They will peck you to death and leave feathers where they where they peck. Like with their beaks, they will plant their feathers inside of your back. It, it's it's fucking horrifying. Uh, sorry, 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 advertising partners. Here comes Tunnel Drill. He's hitting crows because he realizes the superiority of the of the Burge army that we have. Uh, we don't care. We're just gonna make another crow. Now this might cause you problems. There's a row space putting it here, but. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set up Commander's Horn. He's just trying to tempo. So he's not killing the crows. Which is good for me because when this comes out, I can... Uh... Do, 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 do. We need another gold here. Um, Since we have a Druid on the board... Well, let me play this first. Because we also want to thin. We want to thin out the fishies. Now, he might hit this and then, like, play a crime and kill it. No, he did chose not to. Brawler. Interesting.
Okay, I'm just going to play this for now, it's just to not get too greedy. So that was um, 10 plus 3, that was a 13 point. You can get a 16 point one if you had two more golds. Or, sorry, that was a 14 point one, right? Because you have 4, 3, 3, and 2, and 2. Yeah, that was two less than the max theoretical horn. And now we just play um, our rain cards. We get six points out. Like what I could have done was use Raging Bear to kill the Crow Mother. Um, but usually uh, that's for leader. Now this is a six and it's worth killing, but we're a red point here. We're not like, you know, we're not in danger of anything. This deck is really strong on red coin. Just play more birds. The answer is always more birds. Now, next turn, these these uh, anglerfish could go back in deck, but we can play Bride of the Sea into Tears of the Siren because it's an alchemy card and get them back. Uh, looks like opponent is has opted to pass here because he knows we're losing five points. Um, so I can play this for six or I can play this. I think I'm just going to play this for six and save Bride for another round. In fact, I can hit that. That plays for eight. Because that was going to go back in deck anyway. This goes to the bottom of the deck, so it's not going to like cause us any trouble. And we're not a compass deck, so we don't really care. But we won round one, and that's really good. Because now, um, remember, these, these three crows were not from our deck. We still have two crows in deck. So if we get an alchemy card um, in hand... And crows, we could do a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna mulligan the megascope. This would be my second uh, Oniro. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do instead is do this. This is going for max carryover cheese, but I think it's fine. Because the other thing that these crows do is they give you targets for... And I am going to heat wave this because... I, I know he can just play Novigrad, but usually if they have Novigrad, they open with Novigrad, not Candle. Yeah. This way. So we have little Hopper in deck. Um, so I'm not sure that I want to use leader yet. I may just save it for the next round. So this is this is like I said, this is maximum carryover cheese, right? Maybe I should have rained back row and then I could have leadered um, the Seductress or the Madame or this. At this point, it's the same. Like, I already played two cards and got him two points. I, the main reason I didn't want to uh, leader something in the back was because I wanted to have at least two targets for my Kelpie. But. Uh, as you can see, that's not really an issue anymore. But Kelpie makes it so that you, if Rain, instead of doing 4 damage a turn, it does 4 damage and 4 boost. Um, and yeah, we're just going to thin this. This isn't going to do anything after we pass, so it's not important anymore. Uh, and this, if we kill it, it you know, uh, we lose a Rain target. Now we're up 20 points, and he's taking another 4 damage. 
He's forced to play Ixora. Um, and he's probably going to have to use some sesames to get out of this round. He does have three sesames, though, so he's not exactly low on carry over himself. Um, one thing we could do if we want to be really smarky is Freya's a crow. And that will put 20 points on the board. Force him to play his last card. Well, he's playing a lot of sesames. Because we have three crows in graveyard and two crows in deck. Oh no, the deck ones won't come out. Right. Now nah, we just go next round. It's fine. He had to, I mean, he burned like all his sesames. So yes, he has Acarontia most likely left if he's playing standard. Hitting the fishy with Baron around with a carryover? It kind of did, yeah, you're right, Gropa. I probably shouldn't have done that. I got sort of carried away by how clever I thought I was being, but I wasn't really being clever. This hand is fine. Well, actually, I don't want Freya's, do I? Because this already pulls him from Graveyard. Or no, I don't want that. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Whatever. It's fine. Twenty-eight points. Let's go. <laughs> but importantly, that also helps our Sir Quan. So, I mean, I wanted I wanted to draw Aguara. Aguara would have been helpful. Looks like he's playing Jacques too. And people said Jacques's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With this is eight. Easiest kill of my life. And I know that's not his Acarontia, but like. He doesn't have King of Beggars, and that was a spender. And sure, he might get a spender from here or from hand. But, oh, that's bullshit. Okay. That's just the highest possible roll he can get. He's going to play Akarontia now, and then play like a million points. Like, if he hadn't gotten this, he wouldn't even have enough enough coins to trigger Akronthia in, in one turn. No, I think he... I, I don't think he wasn't playing on Sarah Quan. I think he was because he's happy that... Like, the thing is, I, I have to kill the Jock, and he wants me to kill the Jock. Modern Cut bank? Yeah, because he played Sewer Raiders and Casino Bouncers. Gabane was playing something like this today. Well, last night. I linked in my deck and then he modified it. Actually, he wasn't running Ixora. Or, 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 like, well. He said he didn't want to run Ixora or Akron. Maybe he did. He's got eight coins already. So he's easily got more than enough. There's bank. Yeah, yeah. There's just no... Um, we didn't see a senior, but I'm sure he has it. So... <clears throat> I mean, he, he, it was a very close game, and Syndicate's pretty good at defending bleeds. Especially when they draw everything. But you can kind of see how the deck works. You make a lot of crows. Um, real quick, let me pause the recording, and we can try and recreate that SY deck, just because we're curious. Okay, let's play another game of crows. Like, I don't even play Madame in my Syndicate, personally. 
Because I like Junior. And... Although technically we didn't see Junior last game. So it could be... Could be something else. Could even be Decree. I just never drew it. Because like, when Madame is in the deck, along with Decree, I just feel like I, I don't ever want to play another game of Gwent again. Who requested this song? This is pretty dope. You want to mulligan Freya's in round one, and obviously you want to mulligan cards like Roach. Um, what we're looking for is... Crozyra's Dome is perfectly fine. Um, we don't have an alchemy... Well, we, we can play Tears of the Siren at some point. Best drown yourself with those damn nets. We can also grab Crow Mother. How do I feel a prisoner to Madame? I, I don't know. It probably needs it. It should be more of a commitment. Like if 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 we're saying Demavan is worth 14 provisions, then Madame should be 14 also she's already hard to fit she should be you sh like putting madame in your deck should should require sacrificing one of your other goals you shouldn't be able to fit madame and jacques and acarontia and novigrad you know in your deck and still have everything else that you need but this is what happens when you make thinning cards for provisions they can do shit like that it's it's so dumb like in the same patch that we nerfed uh freaking Idiotic Tempest and uh, idiotic Scholars that like make it so making a really hyper polarized deck isn't punished at all whatsoever. We went ahead and made Sewer Raiders and Casino Bouncers for provisions. I mean, Coral is at least not a provision buff. Right? Skirm is a problem, but that's not making consistency cheaper. That's just making this card package have a lot more tempo, which is dumb for other reasons. But, like, specifically what I'm talking about here is... Um, the, the problem that I'm, I'm trying to talk about is... I can't talk with, with rap music going on in the background. Is is the issue of like making thinning cards free. That shouldn't happen. Especially on conditional ones. Like Archer Spore being four provisions is fine. Okay? I think maybe even Wild Hunt Riders or Doggos or Commandos. Right? Because Commandos like is an order, right? Don Banner is like requires that you boost them. Like those ones that require you doing something, being 4P is fine. But like casino bouncers don't require anything. Sewer Raiders can, can require you have four coins, which is not really a requirement. Like every single game you've ever played of Skellige, you have had probably four coins in round one. Like it's not that hard. And it's like playing a card that's neither a spender nor a profit is kind of a requirement to use. What? Can you explain what you mean, Hillick? So, we have we have both mega scopes, and we were able to with curse scroll grab Crow Mother. Like we're very happy with how this round is going. Of course, it, it's we're blue coin, which is worse. But he's like hitting our Hafru, which is dumb, <laughs> right? Because like like why are you doing that? Is 
since I can just click it and now you have less value. If I had a horn, I'd feel a lot better about this round, but I don't have horn. So we're losing 12 points, but we're still ahead by one point now. Hey streamer, drink water and fix your posture, you dehydrated fucking hunk. Uh, out of water. That's the trick. I'll have to get one after we finish this guide. Another one. I don't want my uh, fishies to go back. And yeah, I'm going to have to play another card if he passes, but that's just the price you pay. They, they are going to go back. No, they're not. They're not going to go back. Are they going to go back? They're going to go back. Yeah, they'll go back this turn. But we're going to we're gonna mount a very solid bleed. And he did use Sangreal already. So that's something. Nice of Lightmaker, why? They just want a lot of tempo so they can win round one. It's literally what Gavin linked me earlier. Asking me what I think. You want to play the crow when you have an alchemy card in hand so they all come out? The difficulty in this deck is knowing when to go for more carryover and when to go for more tempo. Like, right now, I could Oniro for... Um, no, I can't, actually. Never mind. What did he squirrel? Yeah, I can... Uh, I can Onira for Crozirazome. And then Fukusia the Axel to get even more. And then just hope to draw our horn in round three. What I mean is, in, the, in Syndicate, you often have to balance spenders and fees, and having cards in hand that are neither makes them balance harder. Board setup due to having set up spenders and have coins, having to play card. Okay, but what? What? How is that relevant to the conversation that we were having about Madame and thinners being four P? Like, they're still free. Doesn't matter. Like, you don't need fees and spenders because fees and spend like coin generators and spenders are are a like they're a means to an end. That end is points, right? You play a card that gives you coins and you play spender, spend those coins, which gives you points. If I can just drop a, a plunder and get 12 points anyway, then I already have the points. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, if if we gave Death Wish. Uh, I don't know, a, a 20 for 10 card, they could just play the 20 for 10 card and have points. They don't need spenders and consumers. <laughs> for I apologize to Imagawa for my, for my terrible play. <laughs> But aside from Buhurt, Rainfarn, uh, and False Siri, like False Siri to Buhurt, Rainfarn, and maybe another Blightmaker, what do they have for round three?
No, neither one should be at four feet. There's no reason for that at all. Like four provisions should be cards that by themselves aren't very good. You should never be like, oh, I sure hope I draw that four provision card. That That's across the game, okay? Four provision cards are, are, should be cards that you're happy to mulligan. Five provision cards should be cards that you want. Like, that's like, there should be a cost to a card that you're excited to get. That's why having cards like Funeral Boat and, and Honor Dread 4P was so idiotic. And why I've always said that Dwarven Skirmisher is a terrible card. Because that's the card you want. To, to, you want to draw it at 4P. Like, that's not good. Berserker is much better because it's a card that, like, you just drop and it plays for six or seven points. Like, it's fine. He does play Rain Farm. And Book Clear. No, I'm not reti retired. <laughs> what? You have to be like 65 to be considered retirement age. If you're asking if I stream full time, yes, currently that is that is what I do. Which is why I always appreciate all the support that you guys provide. No, I just had like some money from Okay. Like they they realize they can't catch up in two cards. But in round three, I was just going to discard everything and play a one crow. Um, anyway, check out this deck. Let me know if you have any problems. Uh, I'll try and uh, respond, or you can always stop by the stream. Ask anything you like, or see me play it in person. Cheers.